The graph of a certain hyperbola, y equals hx, is shown in the standard xy coordinate plane below. Among the following graphs, which best represents y equals negative hx? And so you might be concerned here, you might not know what hx is or what a hyperbola is, and I'm gonna show you that you don't need to know any of those things to solve this problem. Actually, all you need to realize is that this graph right here is equal to hx, and we want to know what the negative of a graph is. So let me take it one point at a time. Uh, so the night, let's start with a point. We don't really know where these points are, but let's just pick a point that we think you know might might be a helpful one. Let's just start here. Now we don't actually know exactly where that is. Let's just kind of guess and say that's about. I don't know, maybe that's like at x equals 1, you know, or so. And at x equals 1, or whatever point this actually exactly is, we have to go up some distance to get to the purple line here, which is h of x, right? And so at x equals 1, we have to go up some distance to y, and I don't know, we, we again, we don't know exactly what that is, but we'll just say that's maybe, I don't know, that's somewhere near y equals 1. So h of 1, if we kind of imagine these points, is exactly equal to 1. And now they want to answer the question, what is negative h of x? And this turns out to be really easy, because if we know what h of 1 is, then negative h of 1 is the same thing as saying negative one here. And we didn't really know that both of these numbers are one, but we do know that it's the exact same distance. So we had to go up one red unit when we were here. To find the negative of this curve, we're gonna have to go down the exact same distance. And if we do that, then we will find ourselves at a point on negative hx. And we can do this over and over again. So let's, you know, start at a different point here. Uh, we'll go a little smaller on the x-axis. You'll notice we have to go up higher. So I don't know, maybe we had to go up two units. Well, the negative of two units is negative two. And so we just have to go down the same amount that we went up on this x-axis. And we end up here. And we can do that over and over again. So we go up, go down the same unit, go up, go down the same unit, and kind of draw out a line. And we've actually started to solve for what negative h of x is equal to. And let's go over to the, to the other side. It's actually the exact same logic applies, but it's a little more complicated. Because here, on this side, instead of going up, uh, you know, let's say we, we didn't go up, we go down. So we go down one red unit. Then on the other side, negative of that, and the negative of a down is an up. So we have to go up the same amount we just went down. And we can do that, you know, again, over and over again. Maybe here we had to go down, I don't know, say that's again, we went down one unit. So then uh, the negative of negative one would be positive one. We'll go up one unit or whatever distance that is. And so we can end up drawing this second line where we go up the whole time. And here we have it. That is the curve that's the exact negative of purple curve. And you can do this with any curve you want. You don't actually need to know what it's look like, what it looks like. And so now we just need to look through the options and we can quickly see just by pattern matching that this is the exact same as F, which is the correct answer.